She was at the forefront of Scottish politics until recently, but former First Minister Nicola Sturgeon is now in for the battle of her life, arrested and then released on the weekend as part of an ongoing investigation into what her Scottish Nationalist Party did with $750,000 in donations for another independence referendum while she was in power. That second referendum never came, though, after the UK's top court ruled last year that the Scottish government could not hold a second plebiscite without approval from the MPs in the building behind me, dealing a serious blow to the nationalists' hopes of holding a vote this year. That was followed by another setback, the UK government's decision to block Sturgeon's so-called gender recognition bill that would have made it easier for Scots to change their gender. The GRR bill was absolutely toxic and I would be confident in thinking that the majority of people who've left the SNP and uh, joined the Aleppo party are women who were appalled at this uh, gender reform proposal which would have diminished women's rights. Not long after came this. The very best job in the world. Sturgeon stepped down in April saying she no longer had the stamina for the role. The probe had already seen two other party members arrested. Her husband, former SNP chief executive Peter Morell, arrested in April and former treasurer Colin Beatty in the same month. Both were released without charge. Sturgeon's successor, Hamza Youssef, seen as a continuity first minister, came to power 10 weeks ago. Since then, the terrain has quickly changed. People are seeing continuity as a continuation of that turmoil. So his presence as leader of the SNP is not being seen as a force for good. Quite clearly, the SNP will lose seats in Westminster at the next general ele election. Sturgeon has denied any wrongdoing as calls on Hamza Youssef to suspend her from the Scottish Parliament grow. Saeed Porza, Press TV, London.